and welcome to another part of my wedding bell series. Today I'm going to show you some of the things that came in the post um, in the last week or so. It's mostly just tableware and just um, a few little bits and pieces but just thought I'd share it with you. <laughs> so uh, we're still waiting for red bowls but these are the red plates, just paper plates because my mum and dad thought it would be a lot easier if we just put everything out in paper plates, very easy to clean up afterwards. Um, these are for the food to go on. So all the food will be on the red plates and then the plates that you eat off are these ones. And these ones are gorgeous. They're silver and black and white and they say bride and groom. And we got the matching small plates for those as well because if you want to have a piece of cake or you want to have something sweet you want to be able to have a smaller plate to have that on and then you've got your bigger plate for your main meal. So those are the plates. Like I say, there's some red balls to come um, for things such as like putting out cheese and all those kinds of little nibbly things and crisps on the table. And then we got the napkins, which also say bride and groom. So it's all going to look very pretty and matching. And we've got a white tablecloth to come and a red runner, which my lovely friend Mel is doing for me. She lives next door and she's actually doing those things. So I'm very excited about those. Um, I also got some red heart balloons. I got these in the sale at Sainsbury's and Mel is also going to fill these for me with helium. Uh, red hearts. Very pretty. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, where were we? We were at balloons. Um, so I showed you those and then we've got some hair accessories. Now. I got Tony and me a little clip because I want to wear it like this. So it's like not the full length of my hair is actually clipped up. Well, it kind of is, but it's not going to be on the day. So it's just the top half, like this side is actually clipped over and then the rest hangs down and then all curly. So this is just going to look really nice like in the top. And the hair is mostly going to fall over it, but if you do catch sight of it, it's like silver with jewels on it, so it's going to look really pretty. So one of them each for me and Tony. And then I got some of these coily things. <laughs> and I did have one that I took off, but basically it's just like a coil. And you twist it into your hair, and then you can just see the jewel. Um, like it twists into the under layer of your hair, and then obviously it overlays kind of cover around it, and then you can see the jewels shining in your hair. So I got some of these for me and Tony to wear in our hair and I'm really excited about them because I think they're really pretty. They did have some in Claire's but they were like little flowers and I just wanted it to be a simple jewel. So we've got those. And then for the candle ceremony, we've got a Yankee candle in wedding day. And it's a big um, cylinder one. I love the smell of this, it's so pretty and so fresh. And it's got a dual wick. So at the candle ceremony, basically, our witnesses will light, um, sorry. they will light, I don't know what they're called, it's a long piece of wood, you see. My friends are scrambled today. But they light one of them, then they light a, a small candle, around about this big. They then hand that candle to us, and then me and Alec then light this together at the same time. So I'm really excited about that because... Um, the smell of this is going to be really nice for the ceremony. It's called Wedding Day, which is really, really pretty. Um, it's nice that it's called Wedding Day because it's, it is our wedding day. And I just thought that was quite poignant. And um, yeah, we'll be able to burn this every year on our anniversary. Um, I think it's about 120 hours. I'm not really sure. I can't remember the burning time on these big ones. Um, but I got that off eBay and it was a bit cheaper than the standard ones. And then the other week I actually got these in a sale. And it ended up being about nine pounds for the actual shape and the top and then the plate. So you stand your cylinder on there and it just makes it look like a lamp. So I actually got those a couple of weeks ago when we were in oh I can't remember where we were. But I got those and they were really cheap so so I love the candle. And then I just had an idea that I wanted to do like at a wedding normally you would get favours and I know it's a very small wedding and it's not sit down sort of meal but I did still want to do something to give the guests to say thank you. So each of these will be personalised with a little tag and then we've got these little white organza bags. I thought they were going to be bigger than this, luckily enough they are an okay size for what I want them for. Um, but they're fine, just little white organza bags. So we've got those. And then to put in there are the Yankee candles in wedding day in tea like form. So it means that all of the guests get to take away their own wedding day tea light. 
sort of as in a memory of the occasion but just because it is a really nice smell and who doesn't like candles really they are really nice to burn also um sorry i'm trying that i know which end i've got it in um it's just really nice we're gonna have a couple of these burning on the day at the buffet so you will actually have that lovely aroma and then you can take that home and yeah so yes there it is so that's what it's going to look like in its little organza bag and then it's going to have a little tag on and then I thought I might just put a little bit of um, sort of that silver sprinkles of confetti or you know the table decorations just to put a few little bits in the bottom just to give it that little bit of sparkle but yeah that's what the guests are going to get so I'm sorry Elaine that's kind of ruined it for you because you're the only person who knows that you're going to get that because none of the other guests know about this part of it um, so we were going to get the witnesses to do the candle lighting but we're actually going to get the two youngest people there to do it which is my daughter Tony and Robin my cousin's little girl and I think of my cousin Maura as my sister so we were incredibly close so it'll be like two 13 year olds lighting the flames which will be really nice I think it'll be a nice touch but the youngest people there are going to do it it gives them something important to do in the ceremony because Robin's sister Lauren is actually doing the flowers she works in a florist she's worked there for a couple of years now and she's actually learned a lot from there so she's actually going to go to the flower market uh, the day before the wedding and she's going to actually make the bouquets and the buttonholes and there she doesn't want the money for the flowers that's that's what they're gifting to us so I love that my neighbor is actually gifting the balloons and the table decoration and all that which is fantastic too got some amazing family who are just being totally fantastic and supportive and I think that's great because we're trying to keep this um, quite low budget um, we did go and get Alex shirt and tie yesterday. We got a beautiful shirt and tie, got them from Debenhams. I think it's a Jasper Conran shirt that was in the sale. It was a really good price. And then a tie um, from the black tie range. So um, I will show you those in another video because I don't have them at hand. And he has picked out a ring. Um, but we will probably keep showing you the rings until the actual day of the wedding when we film that and we can show them together. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited now. So it's not a very long video. Um, Also, I know this is a little bit of a tease because I'm not actually going to show you this, but I got this veil. That's all you see. Um, I so, so want to show it to absolutely everybody because I'm totally obsessed with this veil. It's so beautiful, but I'm not. Um, I want to keep it a secret till the day of the wedding because I don't want to show the dresses and a lot of this kind of what we're wearing and things um because i want to keep that as a surprise for the wedding day for the guests for people for everybody to see and to share it with you because i'm really excited but this is from the vintage section from the age uk charity shop and this is the one in sunland and the lady carol there she's lovely um the vintage section upstairs is just beautiful i could come out with just literally a ton of things um but yes so the veil is ivory, it's the exact same colour as my dress. It's hand embroidered and it's actually from 1910. So this veil is 102 years old. That is really special to me. You know that I love old things. I really just, I don't know, it's history to me. And this is my something old because I'm wearing borrowed jewellery. I'm wearing a new dress and shoes. And what was the other the blue? I've got a little charm, which I haven't shown you. Or have I? I think I did show you. So yes, I'm very excited. And this veil is just stunning. It's a cathedral veil, so it's really long. It's not attached to anything at present because they would have worn it very differently then. Um, I've actually found photographs. They wear it over the face with a band around it and then put it back. Um, but the woman did tell me a little bit of history about the veil because she actually spoke to the family who brought it in and it was actually their mother had passed and the mother when they'd gone through the house had all of her mother's things and that was where this came from it was actually passed on through the family and there was a beautiful old victorian pram and all sorts of beautiful stuff and they gave it all to age uk um so that was really nice because age uk were a huge help to their mum um in the last years of her life so i just thought that was really nice i like that it's got a bit of a story so i also picked up which is not wedding related <coughs> this in the vintage section which you're going to think is just very mad and random um silver plated and it just says preserve on it and you actually put your your jam in there your jar of jam just thought that was really nice 
I like things like that, but I will do a video on my bric a brac because I do have quite a collection of very unusual things. <laughs> Although Alec would not say they're all unusual, some of it he's not exactly a fan of. But that's it for today's wedding bells. I hope you've enjoyed this video today. I thank you very much for watching and supporting me and subscribing and commenting. I love comments, I answer them all. I love it when people comment on my videos. Um, even if it's just to say hi. <laughs> so that's it for now. I'll see you all soon. If you want to see um, a tutorial on the makeup that I've gone on today, then please check out um, the one. It's probably going to be uploaded after this video and it is a high street face tutorial. So that's it for now. I'll see you all soon. Bye.